Look at this. You're watching the last EF5 tornado to touch down not only in Oklahoma, but the nation. It hit Newcastle and more 10 years ago on May 20th, 2013. Just look at all that mm -hmm. debris flying around. Yeah. Fox 23 was there as this devastating twister ripped apart these communities and thousands of people's lives. It makes my heart beat really fast just remembering it and looking at it. Mm -hmm. Tonight, Tulsa's chief meteorologist James Adelot joins us. James, you went back to more to hear from a family who survived a direct hit that night. Yeah, and after seeing what was left of their home, it's a miracle the Creasel family is here today and can share their story with all of us. It's a miracle. There's, it's, there's no other way to describe it. We shouldn't be here. Nathan, Amber, and their three girls still call more home. But 10 years ago, the tornado changed everything. Walk me through your day on the 20th. Well, we knew we were going to have bad weather, mm -hmm. so it started out normal. I mean, you went to work. I went to work. I had to take Kaylee, went to school. She was in morning kindergarten at Plaza Towers, and so I took her to school, um, came home. I was aware that there was a possibility, so I was paying attention to the weather. The clouds were awesome. Almost eerily, Amber took these photos of the clouds earlier that day. The same sky would soon darken and develop a large destructive tornado. We still just kind of went about. The girls took a nap. The twins were taking a nap in the living room. Um, I was just watching the weather, and at some point, probably around 2.30, he still wasn't home. And so at that point, I was like, I think I need to just stick with our plan and do what we'd planned last night. Eight tornadoes had hit Oklahoma the night before on May 19th. 14 people were injured, eight died. The strongest tornado that night, an EF4, came within a few miles of their home. Our sirens went off because we're in Cleveland County, but it was like more in Norman and not our area. They knew that was a close call, so they decided to practice taking cover with their girls. So we just kind of did a dress rehearsal, so to speak. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So we just went through the motions like as if it was a, you know, coming towards us and took pictures in our bathtub and everything of the girls just so we'd know what to do, you know, the next day. While her family did their own tornado drill, Rick Smith with the National Weather Service office in Norman was in the thick of it. He had come to work to get ready for another day of severe weather. I remember a meeting in my boss's office with uh, me and one of our lead forecasters and the discussion was number one, do we see anything that's going to make this not happen? Do we see anything that's going to prevent this from happening? And then another question was what is the absolute worst thing that can happen today? And then the answer to the first question was no, we didn't see anything that was going to prevent it. The answer to that second question, the worst thing when it comes to severe weather did happen, an EF5 tornado. Supercell storms began to develop southwest of Oklahoma City around 2 in the afternoon. Within 30 minutes, the first tornado warning was issued, and just 16 minutes after that tornado warning, a tornado was doing damage near Newcastle. It was headed straight for more. The director of emergency management says he sounded the sirens. Came across into our city, uh, destroying homes. The, the path uh, the, was complete destruction. They had said there was a tornado emergency, so yeah. we knew, and we knew it was headed our way. And I remember even telling the girls, like, there is a tornado, and you know, it's headed this direction. Since they had just practiced, they knew what to do. They all grabbed their bike helmets and headed for cover. The bathroom is the center part of the house, that which is key. We knew that was important. No there was no windows. Um, there was only one was door tiny. in, and so um, that was the best place for us. The girls huddled in the bathroom as Amber and Nathan held a mattress over all of them. No, we didn't have power, but we started hearing the hail and the thunder. Yeah. And I go, it's here. At that point, we just heard Coming. all kinds of things. I mean, it, it sounded otherworldly. Like right. it was like there were giants out there just picking everything apart. Yeah. We're just screaming at the top of your lungs and you can't hear each other. It was so it is loud. Really loud. And, and then, then the walls instantly disappeared. I mean, in a split second. Once the walls disappeared, I know for me, it was just so surreal because I was outside, but I was still kneeling in my bathroom, so it didn't make any sense. They found out later the tornado had strengthened to an EF5, the highest rating possible for a tornado. So this this is the path, and right here is where it came up, and and 
this one dissipated, and I think a new one rotated around is what I think happened. But, and Amber's house was right there. Good night. The Kriegel's bathtub and just parts of one wall were the only things left standing. Amber felt like God protected her family. Once the tub twisted, that was, mm -hmm. that put shocks of fear into me because I knew mm -hmm. seconds it either had to be gone or we were gone. At that point before it stopped too though was that we actually felt, we both felt like we felt shoved down, like yes. which didn't make sense because everything, mm -hmm. you know, was happening, but like we literally felt like we were being held down. Mm -hmm. So I mean, everything else was going up. I still believe God down. just was holding us in place. Like, you know, the mm -hmm. Lord must have had his hand right over us because we mm -hmm. felt like someone just covered us and pushed us down. All five survived a direct hit from an EF5 tornado. They crawled out from under the remnants of their home. I don't know about her, but I was just like oh, shaking yeah. like that. Here's one photo Nathan took and you can see how blurry it is. But I'm like, I can't hold my, you my phone. He took it moments after they crawled out of the tub. When I looked down our street, there was nothing, like no houses there. There was nothing left. I mean, there were no bathtubs. After that, the Creasels moved to another house, but they're still in more. This is our remember to be thankful wall. And so on here, of course, we have more strong, but this is a, the house before and the house after. The bathtub they held on to that protected them from nature's fury is still part of their life, too. They keep it here in their backyard right next to their new home. I'm glad we had this tub. <laughs> As well forecast as that tornado was, technology has improved even more in the last 10 years. We have computer models now that mathematically simulate individual supercell thunderstorms, and that's making these high-end tornado forecasts even more accurate.